Okay, in this video, we are going to look into building a Reax test link. So you'll need a microcontroller, and you'll need a Reax LoRa module. Now the microcontroller could be an Arduino Nano, could be an ARM Blue Pill, could be ESP32. I'm using the Parallax Propeller. Now normally when I use a LoRa radio module in a project, I use the E32 series from eByte because it's very easy to use. It's transparent. So as I send ASCII character codes into my FTDI module, it gets entered into the UART of the LoRa radio, and the LoRa radio will transmit automatically until the buffer is empty. Okay, to send data using the Rayax LoRa module, we have to use the AT plus send command. So it's not transparent. So we have to set up a string starting with AT plus send, then equal sign, then there's the address, comma, the payload length, so how many characters in their data, then the data itself. And if we send that string to the LoRa module, it'll transmit the data over the air, over the radial link. So in order to make this transparent, we have to add a microcontroller with some code, and then we can make it transparent, similar to the E32 eByte LoRa module. And that's what we're going to look at in this video. Okay, I have my circuit powered up, and I have some code running on my Parallax microcontroller. Now it's powered by the USB port, 5 volts, and then the Parallax microcontroller is feeding 3.3 volts to the Rayx LoRa module. Now I picked the Parallax propeller because it's very versatile. There's actually eight microcontrollers on the chip itself, and I'm only using one of them. And I can redirect the serial port to any one of the pins on the microcontroller, and I haven't redirected to pin 0, which is connected into the Rayx uh, LoRa module. Now to send data over the radial link, all I have to do is just type on the keyboard. So if I type hello and hit enter, it sends that data. So it's transparent. So anything I, I type on the keyboard and hit enter, it'll, it'll, uh, it'll send that. So if I just hit the enter key, it'll just send a null string. So anything else I type on the keyboard, hit enter, it'll send over the air. So basically, now with the code running on the Parallax Propeller, we have a transparent LoRa module. Okay, here's the code that's running on my Parallax microcontroller. And it's written in fourth, so it's very compact. There's only seven lines of code for the whole program. Now normally, when we want to send data using the Rayax LoRa module, we have to use AT send command. So that's typically how we do it, right there. AT plus send equals zero, comma, 11. That's how many characters in our data. So to make it transparent, we set up a string variable called at dollar sign, and then that variable we put in at plus send equals zero comma. So that's going to be constant. Well, that will always be in the in the string variable. Now the main program is called link test, and greater than Reax redirects the serial port to pin one, and then it goes into the program called get line. So that's going to monitor the uh, the keyboard, and it's going to record all the key presses and then put that into the Reax string variable after you hit return. Then it's going to take the number of characters and it's going to append it to the string. And then it's going to append a comma. So ASCII 44 is a comma. Then it's going to append the text, whatever you typed on the keyboard. It's going to append that to the string. And that's going to send it to the radio using C type. And then it clears the buffer and does it over and over again. So here's our main program. So there's our main there's our code called link test which is run over and over again which is monitoring the keyboard and taking the data and sending it over the air. So this is how we make our uh, Rayx LoRa module transparent. Okay, so this is your basic setup for a Rayx test link. So you could build two of these setups with two laptops running TerraTerm and you could give one setup to your friend and then go in opposite directions and you could chat with each other over the radio link using TerraTerm. Now what I like about the Rayx LoRa module is at the receiving end, at the receiving string, it will stamp the RSSI and signal to noise ratio on each string. So you get the receive signal strength indication and you'll get a signal to noise ratio, that's how many dB above the noise floor the signal is received at. Then you could test different antennas and you could actually look at the results, uh, you could actually see their improvements on the received string. So it's very handy when you're testing out a radial link. So by using a microcontroller and the Reax module, you could build yourself a, a transparent Reax test link. 